All right, I got a 2011 um, Honda Element K24. Uh, I had a cracked block. Uh, I redid the head and uh, still getting coolant in the oil. So either had a warp, I'm not sure exactly, but I got another motor here. Um, had an Accord and it's got like 45 to 65,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna take it out or uh, swap this thing with this one and uh, be good to go. But uh, I just wanted to clarify because I haven't seen any videos on as far as getting the motor out without pulling the transmission or dropping it out of the bottom like they do at the dealer. But uh, I just wanted to clarify that it is possible to get this motor out without actually pulling the transmission or pulling it out of the bottom. You can get it out from the top. It's not fun. Uh, I did have to pull the starter off here and access the flex plate where uh, it hooks onto the ring gear. Uh, you had to pull all these bolts out. I had to spin it with a pry bar until I got all the bolts out that went in these holes. Then I did have to pull off the uh, belt pulley or the serpentine belt pulley for the crankshaft and the mount right here. Um, but that was it. Other than that, just the usual stuff. Oh, and then on the back, you can see the drive line down there. Uh, it mounts to the side of the engine that I guess that's something to secure the drive line kind of keep it from flopping around and there's a shield around all that as well that, that was a big pain in the ass uh other than that um just kind of wanted to share that it is possible to pull this motor without uh, pulling the transmission or dropping out of the bottom thanks for watching